preparing for the worst. All it takes is just one tree next to a power line that could cause a potential outage, meaning anywhere from 1 to 1,000 people could be without power. Now, as the effects from Tropical Storm Debbie start making its way into our hometowns the next few days, there's no better time to start preparing than now. In the most recent update from our first alert meteorologist, Tropical Storm Debbie is expected to make landfall near North and South Carolina Wednesday night. And as the storm makes landfall, we're expecting to see inches of rain in our hometowns. Right now, uh, unfortunately for us, it's the hard part, it's the waiting game to kind of see what may or may not happen. The key phrase is that this may or may not happen, but Appalachian Power Company's George Porter says that we should all be prepared. Uh, anytime you have rain that could be expected over a couple of days, you, you have the threat of, of saturated ground. Uh, when grounds get wet, um, things tend to fall. Uh, trees start to fall. And unfortunately, those trees fall on power lines. Porter tells us the best way to stay prepared is by having flashlights and candles on standby in case the power goes out. And if you have a generator, to make sure it's gassed up and ready. When the power is out, we know when we're going to be there to work on it and we're going to work to restore everyone as quickly as we can. As we're preparing for the storm, so are those who are helping us fix power outages. So we pretty much put everyone on, on, on call and say, hey, you guys know there's a storm coming, there's potential. Uh, we may have to work some long days, so just be prepared. Porter says the main priority in events like these is safety of the employees and those they're servicing. They're going to make sure they can get to locations safely and make sure they can treat an outage safely as well. We're working quickly, but we have to be cautious to make sure that we don't um, do anything unsafe. But just as preparation is important, so is patience. It's a waiting game for us early on, and then it turns into uh, begging for a little patience from our customers. And, but we understand. We understand when your power is out, it's inconvenient, so we try to get it done as quickly as we can. Along with having all your outage gear ready to go, Porter recommends signing up for the alerts on their website. That way you can be prepared right from your phone. In Christiansburg, Lindsay Cook, WDBJ7.